Hello everyone, welcome to another amazing video. I am Ubed Ahmed and this video is about Burps, which is a very powerful tool. It is even called the Swiss knife for penetration testing because it is full of features. If I cover everything in single video, then it will get quite long. So I will be making several videos on it and this is the first part of that series. In this video, we will see what is Burp suit, how to set it up, how to configure your browser to talk to Burp suit, how to install certificates so that you can intercept HTTPS sites, how to modify requests, how to replay them. It is going to be a very fun video. So watch this video completely till the end. Without much delay, let's get started. You can download Burp Suit from Port Swigert's website. Just open a browser, go to Google and type Burp Suit. Here. Okay. Now the Burp Suit have the paid version, that is the enterprise version, the professional version, and we also have a community version, which is the free version. For starters or for the beginners, I would suggest to go for the community version and not to go for the professional version because community version is as good as the professional version i mean there are certain things which you won't be getting in the community community version of course you cannot get everything for free but still you can do your work with community version let's download it Now again it's your choice, you can download your platform specific version of it or you can download the jar file which is platform independent. Personally speaking, I have been using jar files since I came to know about Burp Suit and I personally like it. I will be using this, let's download it. Now this will take some time because it's 347 MB file. A few moments later. The download is complete and I have also moved the downloaded file. To this directory. Let me open my command prompt. You need to have Java installed in your machine and the version of Java that I am using is Java 12.0.2. This version of Burp Suit is not compatible or I should say it has not been tested with a higher version of Java that is Java 13 or Java 14. So try to have this version of Java that is 12 in your machine if you want to use Burp Suit. Now in order to execute it, just type Java hyphen jar hyphen xmx1g and the name of the file. As you keep on using Burp Suit, it consumes your RAM just similar to like Chrome. So if you want to restrict the RAM usage, you can use this parameter over here, hyphen xmx1g, where 1g denotes 1gb. You can also mention 2gb, it's again as per your wish. So 1gb is sufficient. Let's just hit enter. One of the issues with community version of Burp Suit is that you cannot save your project. I mean, whatever you work you will be doing, it will be gone if you close this instance of verb suit. But that should not be a problem. So let's proceed. Start verb. Let me maximize it. So this is the dashboard, and verb suit has its own crawler. Basically, what it does is since Burp suit acts as a proxy. So whatever traffic your browser will be sending will be going through Burp suit. And Burp suit will scan each and every request. In the pro version, it even reports the issues that it finds. But as per my experience, most of the cases, those are the false positive and you still have to manu manually verify those issues. So again, this should not be a problem if this feature is not present in the community version. As I told you that Burp Suit acts as a proxy, but still we need to do some configurations. For this, go to proxy tab, go to options, and here, click on edit. Now provide the port number that is available. 
and whatever port number you should you provide over here no other application should be running on it and click on ok and make sure this checkbox is checked now let's open our browser you have to set a proxy in firefox as well for this there are two ways of doing it first one is click on this hamburger sign click on options type network click on settings manual proxy configurations your loopback address and this port number should be same as you provided in the verb settings make sure this checkbox is ticked and click on ok this is the first method but the second method which is preferred by me and I have been using it is using foxy proxy which is a Firefox add-on okay you can just add it from here but it's added already added to my Firefox so just I'll click over here select options and here click on add you can type any title or description let's call it burp for obvious reasons here you have to provide the IP which is nothing but the loopback address or the address that you provided in the burp settings 127.0.1 80 80 I'll just save it I'll turn it on okay go over here and select verb so now we have configured our browser to talk to verb here in verb we have this intercept tab right now intercept tab is on which means if my Firefox will send any traffic then it will be intercepted over here for me to analyze that is the request will be stopped over here and won't go further until and unless I decided to forward it let's just access any website for example see as soon as I started typing the Firefox tried to send some request and it was intercepted by verb suit now either I can turn it turn the interceptor off or I can just forward each and every request that Firefox sent for the time being let's turn this interceptor off the text change to intercept is off to my browser I was able to access this website and no request came over here but that does not mean burp did not recorded my request if I go to this target tab then here I can see these first uh, Google entries over here then we have some entry for the this mozilla.org this is our domain we just right click on it and add to scope here in this pop-up it is asking us if we want to avoid other requests apart from this test php.vulnerableweb.com to be avoided by a burp suit just select no for it click over here show only in scope items because we have added this to our in scope now our this particular area will be decluttered and we will only be having the request from this testphp.web.com which we are testing back to proxy and let's turn interceptor on suppose I want to go to this browse categories you can see the page is loading and here this icon is highlighted because it just intercepted our request here, categories.php now I can either forward it or I can also send it to repeater for further analysis send it to repeater from here I can just repeatedly play this request and this is the, the raw form of it and I can also render the HTML by clicking over here it just rendered the HTML for me and if I will just go to this proxy tab and forward this request just forward it and go to my browser so this is the same HTML which I got over here in repeater tab again to the proxy tab intercept is on let's go to this posters 
let me send it again to repeater and forward this request forward this request forward this forward this forward this forward this forward this and here i have this category is equal to 1 all the posters are listed over here back to my verb suit to my repeater tab i'll just send it render it and the similar result over here as well let's change the value of category is equal to 1 to category is equal to 2 the display changed to paintings category is equal to 3 similarly i can like provide different input over here and check the res response over here instead of doing it from my browser click on proxy over here turn off the intercept and there i did not got any result for category is equal to 3 let's check here and see no result here as well now suppose i want to look for different vulnerabilities suppose uh, i want to look for if this particular link is vulnerable to cross-site scripting okay let's type this and I got this particular error now just right click over here select this request in browser select this in original session and copy this request go to your browser just paste whatever you copied and hit enter so here we got our excesses in this way with the help of repeater tab you can provide different inputs over here and check the output and also see the response of it in browser by just right clicking over here going to request in browser and selecting in original session let's look for another vulnerability let's move to this okay let's turn on the interceptor over here go to browse artists okay just forward it and just select this one send it to repeater when you are using verb suit majority of the time what you will be doing is capturing the request forwarding it sending it to repeater or sending it to intruder this intruder will be covered in the next video and your work will be done believe me i have been using verb suit from past three years and most of the time i'm just doing this in fact verb suit is so powerful tool that at least 80 percent of my vapt is done by this verb suit only now go to this repeater tab and click on send go to render just put an apostrophe over here click on send i got another error over here which means this particular application is also vulnerable to sql injection i have done a separate video a detailed video on how to detect applications vulnerable to sql injection how to fetch the database details i have put the link on this uh, i icon over here okay so up till now we were working with the http side now let's try to access some https site for this let's go for google.com we are not able to access the google.com this is because it's an https site and it's not able to make a secure connection because verb suit is a kind of it's just verb suit is acting as a kind of a man in the middle attack it's intercepting a request so that's why the https site is not allowed to open on it in order to open HTTPS site, I'll have to install a certificate and tell the browser that Verbsuit is a trusted authority. For this, go to this 
http buff click on the ca certificate and download it once the certificate is downloaded click on this hamburger sign go to options type certificates click on view certificates go to authorities click on import select the downloaded file open do remember to check both of these okay click on okay now again try to access https site and we are able to access the https site as well just turn on the interceptor type cars google search okay forward 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 and we have got the results of cars let's do one thing let's again hit enter and type cars over here so what will happen is whatever text that i'm providing over here if it is encountered within this request then that part will be highlighted i'm changing cars to bikes and then forwarding it here also change it to bike bike and forward it so now a google search result shows bike so in this way we can even modify the https request this was the first part of burp suit series and in the next part we will be covering how we can automate our requests and send a list of uh, data as input not only this we will be seeing how we can encode and decode data how we can compare requests in burp suit all this is going to be very interesting so do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever my new video comes up do like share and comment and let me know your views on this video See you in the next video. Goodbye.